welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i will be teaching you all how i achieved this super cute um three strand twist out um this is the twist out i typically always do like if you follow me on social media essentially all of my pictures of me with the fro it's a twist out and this is the twist out that i do to achieve this look so if you're interested and want to know how i get these cute curls continue watching please excuse the fact my hair is all over the place right now it is freshly washed conditioned and deep conditioned uh, i wash my hair with a pure castile soap um i use this soap for everything for my hair my skin my body everything um i condition my hair with this conditioner right here this is a newer conditioner for me usually i use aussie moist um but this is just one of the conditioners i have and then i deep condition i deep condition my hair with this argan cream of nature argan oil intensive conditioning treatment if you saw my wash and go video you saw me rave about this deep conditioner but um today i'm going to do a twist out and the type of twist outs i do jesus christ type of twist outs i do are three strand twist outs um it sounds a little complicated but they're fairly easy you'll see when i start doing it but um i'm going to be using this texture id styling cream to twist my hair um, i'm gonna go ahead and get started twisting because this is gonna be a little bit of a long process but i will come back when i get to the front of my hair so the very first thing you're going to do is part your hair or section your hair um the only part that necessarily needs to be straight is the part that will be seen so whether you wear your hair in the middle part a uh, side part zigzag whatever you want that's the only part that needs to be straight so that is why you see me using my fingernail to section off my hair because those parts don't matter um so i'm getting about a medium sized section of hair and the first thing i'm going to do is detangle it if you want your twist out to be more defined you have to use smaller sections than what i'm using i like my curls the size of the curls that you'll see at the end is the size that i like which is why i use medium sections but if you do want more defined curls you do have to use smaller sections of hair so the next thing i'm going to do is use this water mix of water and conditioner It's the conditioner that you saw me use earlier and then i'm going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb starting from the ends all the way to the top then i am going to add the styling cream that you saw me show you guys earlier until i feel like my hair is fairly moisturized um i might be i might go a little overboard with product as you can see just all the excess product on my hair but I honestly just like my hair to be very moisturized because it can get dry easily so i add as much product until i feel like my hair is moisturized once my hair is as moisturized as i would like it to be i detangle once again with my denman brush and y'all this is how you will get a truly defined twist out you have to make sure your hair is detangled so the first step to this three strand twist out is braiding your hair so you're going to braid your hair about three or four times as you see me doing i probably did it like five or six but you're going to braid at the root in order to get the top of your hair to be nice and tight if that makes sense um so you're going to start with braiding your hair and then the piece or the strand that is all the way on the right you're going to take it all the way to the left the strand all the way to the right you're going to take it all the way to the left the strand all the way on the right all the way to the left you're going to keep doing that all the way down it sounds and looks complicated and the first time you do it your fingers and your brain are just going to be so confused like what are you doing but i promise you the moment you get the rhythm it is so incredibly easy that's all you're doing is taking the strand that's all the way to the right and bringing it all the way to the left. And you're going to keep doing that until you get about to the middle or close to the end. And when you get close to the end, you are going to... I'm waiting for me to combine the strands. 
And when you get close to the end, you're going to combine two strands and just do a regular two strand twist. So I'm going to repeat the same exact steps as earlier, but this time I'm not going to say anything while I do the twist out. I'm just going to let you guys watch it because some of you may be visual learners and would rather just see it happen than me tell you what to do. So here you go. So this is how many twists I had in all at the end. And the next thing I'm going to do is oil my scalp with a mix of olive oil and peppermint castor oil. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. With my eyes burning, I continue to oil my scalp, making sure that I get my edges as well as my ends. Don't forget to oil those parts because they're actually the most important. Your roots and your ends are the most important parts of your hair that need to be taken care of. And lastly, you're going to make sure you protect your hair by wearing a bonnet or a scarf or sleeping on a satin pillowcase. You just snatched it off on camera like that. I showed it! So to begin the takedown process, I am just using extra virgin olive oil on my hair. And also, this is two days later. Um, I typically take my twist out, out the very next day. But we're quarantined right now. I didn't really have a reason to take it out the next day. And I didn't have a reason this day either, but... I wanted to keep it as realistic as possible so this is two days later and i'm just going to start at the end unraveling all the way to the top there's nothing really special about this takedown process i'm really just unraveling this list For added volume, I do like to go through each strand and separate even more. But if you would like your curls to stay defined after you unravel the twist, then don't separate them any further.
this is what it looks like when you are done completely taking out the twist and you can stop here if you're satisfied with how it looks but i'm going to take my pick and start fluffing out my hair for volume because i love volume i just i like big curls i like big hair that's just my personal preference but of course you don't have to do that And lastly, I am going to do my edges. I'm using this edge booster right here. This is honestly a great edge control. If you've never used it, definitely try it. Previously, I used Eco Styler to always do my edges, but now I like edge booster because it lasts all day, y'all. Like that is actually a very good edge control. So if you've never tried it, I highly suggest it. And here we have the final result, you guys. If you try this hairstyle, please take pictures, tag me, let me know how it looks. I would love to see what you guys get. Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video or learned something new please make sure to like comment and subscribe comment below if you do your twist outs differently or if there's something else you'd like to see me do i have a lot of videos in mind that i want to make for you guys so if you also want to see something different maybe that i like haven't thought of please let me know in the comments below i'll be happy to make them for you i saw in my last video or my wash and go video a lot of people commented that i have the same hair type as them or a very similar hair type and that's honestly why i make these videos because it took me a long time to figure out what truly works for my hair and i figured it out now like you know so i just want to help anybody else who has a similar hair type or wants to truly figure out their hair um so if you'd like to see something specific please let me know also follow me on all of my social media so you see when i post pictures or if you see a hairstyle that you really want to see how I did it because most hairstyles I do myself if you see a hairstyle that you want to know how to achieve it let me know and I will definitely make a video for you guys but yeah stay tuned for the next video and yeah stay safe stay healthy watch out for yourself and your family and all the people around you and your friends during this quarantine and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video